Kangal Dog's vocalization, what does it mean? Kangal Dog, also known as the Anatolian Shepherd, is a large, powerful, and ancient breed that originates from Turkey. With their distinctive appearance and strong protective instincts, Kangal Dogs have become popular as working dogs and loyal companions. One characteristic that sets this breed apart is their unique vocalization. Understanding what these vocalizations mean can help us better communicate with these amazing dogs. One barking. The most common form of vocalization in Kangal dogs is barking. They have a deep, booming bark that can be heard at a considerable distance. Kangal dogs bark as a means of alerting their owners or warding off potential threats. This breed has been bred for centuries to protect livestock from predators, and their bark serves as a warning to any potential intruders. 2. Howling In addition to barking, Kangal dogs are known to howl. Howling is a long and mournful vocalization that Kangal dogs use to communicate over long distances. Howling can be a response to loneliness or a means of signaling their presence to other dogs. If a Kangal dog is kept outdoors, they may howl to communicate with other dogs in the area. 3. Growling Growling is a vocalization that Kangal dogs use when they feel threatened or uncomfortable. It is a warning sign that they are feeling defensive or aggressive. Growling is their way of saying back off and should be taken seriously. It is important to respect a Kangal dog's boundaries and not push them further if they are growling. For whining. Whining is another vocalization that Kangal dogs use to communicate. It is a higher pitched, whistling sound that dogs make when they are anxious, excited, or seeking attention. Whining can be interpreted as a form of expression, and it is essential to understand why a Kangal dog is whining to address their needs appropriately. 5. Grunting Kangal dogs are known for their deep, guttural grunts. Grunting is a form of vocalization that can have various meanings depending on the context. It can be a sign of contentment when they are being petted or a way to show their frustration when they are not getting what they want. Understanding the situation and body language accompanying the grunt can help determine its meaning. 6. Pawing and Scratching Although not vocalizations, pawing and scratching are additional communication methods that Kangal dogs employ. If a Kangal dog paws at you gently, it may be their way of seeking attention or affection. However, pawing can also be an indicator of boredom, anxiety, or discomfort. Similarly, scratching can indicate an itch but excessive scratching or biting can be a sign of allergies or skin issues. Understanding the vocalizations and communication signals of Kangal dogs is crucial to building a strong bond with them. By recognizing their needs, emotions, and intentions, we can better respond and address any concerns they may have. Remember, Kangal dogs have been bred for centuries to protect and communicate with their owners. So, take the time to understand and appreciate their unique vocalizations.